I've got seven changes on here. Seven outdated tips that you gotta stop using on Instagram. Change number one, you gotta stop using small images on Instagram. As in, stop posting one by one size images on the grid and instead you wanna go for portrait size. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If I pull up my Instagram account and you look at this graphic right here, that is a 1080 by 1080 or a one by one. It's a square, but you have the option to choose a larger size like this graphic right here. It takes up more of the screen. So this is 1350 by 1080 or 1080 by 1350. And now you can see this graphic is larger than that one by one. Why does this matter? People are more engaged when you take up more space on the phone. That's why vertical videos do so well. It takes up the entire space. That's why Instagram is changing things so that more of our posts are taking up more of the screen. While we're talking about carousel posts right here, I wanna show you something that's a game changer when it comes to people reading your graphic images or your carousel posts. You want to align the text to the left because that is how we read from left to right. It makes it so much easier for us to read when it's aligned left to right. I also want you to notice something on this particular carousel. I don't have a lot of sentences on here. I'm keeping it very, very simple. If you want people to read everything that's on your carousel post, make it very easy to digest. Stop putting so much text on there and stop making it so creative that it's hard for us to read the text that is on there. Here's another example of me doing this and this one right here. So again, aligning it to the left and I keep it very simple, bite-sized sentences all throughout. Some visuals to keep it interesting, but for the most part, I'm making it very easy for someone to go in here and understand exactly what I'm talking about. And I recommend that you align your text to the left on Reels as well, because it makes it easier for people to see. Which brings me to something else, by the way. See, I knew there'd be extras. You want to keep your text in this area right here, because we don't ever wanna cover up our face we want people to be able to look at our face and then see the supporting text right underneath us instead of way up above or way off to the side. Now we're distracting them from paying attention to us and our message. Tip number three, we need to adjust your Reels cover images so that they are taking up more of the screen and they're easier to read. I see a lot of people getting really fancy with their Reels cover images and the problem is it takes away from the Reel itself and we don't know what the Reel is about and we can't read it because it's too busy. So you don't have to go spend all this time on Canva for these Reel cover images. If you look, I'm now going to a lot more screenshots of my reel and letting the image fill the screen. And then I try to keep it fewer than eight words. I have a title for the reel so that if someone is binging my content on either my feed or my reels channel, it's easy for them to see what that video is all about. But if you go back and look at my reels from way early when reels first launched, my graphic images were teensy tiny. They did not take up the full screen. And I didn't have clear titles because the words were too small. So since then, I've started eliminating using so many of these templates and I'm starting to just use screenshots from the reel itself because it just, it's more personable. It's easier to see. Which by the way, that also applies to your still pictures, your images. You don't have to have perfect pictures on Instagram anymore. That's long time ago, like 2019, when people were hiring photographers and traipsing all over town to get just the right pictures for their Instagram account. People just wanna see the real you. You can use a filter if you want all your pictures to kind of look related, but you don't need to get all fancy with your pictures. Change number four, stop covering up your reels in your stories. I did this. I did this until a few weeks ago. I would share my reel to my stories and then I covered it with a, well, I covered it with the reels cover image in hopes that people would tap on it and watch the reel in my feed and engage. I thought I could increase engagement. I knew I was still getting views because if you share your reel to stories, you get views. 
But what I found was most people don't tap on that and go watch the reel. They skip it because they're in stories to watch stories, not to go to the reels page or to your account on your feed. So I stopped doing that. And instead, I'm now putting engagement stickers on the reel, asking something that has something to do with the reel itself, or I tell them what they can get if they were to go and read the caption, or if it's longer than 15 seconds, then they would have to tap on it to watch the rest of the reel. But when I tested and polled my audience, they said the majority of the time, they don't go to my reels page to watch the reel, they just skip on by. And what does that do? That hurts your engagement on stories because it's sending the signal to the algorithm that people are skipping some of your stories and they're not going to send it out to as many people. So stop covering up your reels and stop covering up your new posts that you share to your feed. Let them see what it's about and they will go and engage if they want to engage. Change number five, stop keeping your reels so, so short all the time. Now I'm not talking about trends or memes, the funny ones. I'm talking about tutorials and you sharing an inspiring story. I want you to start testing using your actual voice and face to camera on your reels. Not that you don't ever do trends, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying start to dabble in original content. My prediction for 2022 is we're going to see more original content on reels, because quite frankly, people are getting sick of seeing the same trends over and over again. Trends will always be there. They're not going away. But if you really want to stand out, you've got to start using your voice and your creativity to crank out original content, which brings me to number six. Stop only posting for the algorithm. Yes, there are guidelines that help us with the algorithm, but we aren't posting for robots. We're posting for people and we want our audience to feel like we're posting for them. All audiences are not the same. Some audiences don't love trends. Some audiences want to see you talking to the camera, sharing stories, sharing advice with your real voice and not just pointing at text bubbles. But the only way you're gonna know what they like is to test your content and not post the same type of content. I like to dabble with characters, with quick edits to trending music, but not necessarily a trend, and with me simply talking to the camera while I'm washing my face. And what I have found is that my audience does not like me doing quick, fast edits to music or trends. They prefer it when I just talk to the camera, but they also don't like this. And you might not have this problem, but I've got this news anchor persona that comes on when I'm in a hurry and I'm just like, stop saying this on your live video. And I sound like Sally News Anchor. So I'm really trying to work on being more like this, just who you would find in real life and not behind a news desk. So you need to practice that too. Practice talking to the camera like it's your bestie and then bring that to life in your reels. Tip number seven. I used to think I needed to post every single day of my life if I wanted to grow on Instagram. And while posting consistently and frequently can help you if you're posting good content, you are not going to do well if you don't take breaks. I recently tried to force content when I was down visiting in Alabama, my family, and I didn't post it because the energy was bad, because I wasn't enjoying it. And I realized I needed a break. I needed to focus on my family and not worry about Instagram. So for a week, I didn't post and it was okay. Yes, your reach might go down. If you've got a large audience, your reach will go down. But if you know that you're gonna go back, you're gonna be consistent and you're going to be fully there, you're gonna get that reach back. But we as human beings need to take breaks. Instagram is not our life. So take a day off a week, take a week off every two months, whatever it is you need to do, but make sure you're taking breaks and you're posting consistently, but not killing yourself in the process. By the way, if you want my strategy on how to increase your reach, watch this video right here.